A mistake that Salcedo's making. Stand directly in front, taking all those punch punches. You know what? If you want to hit something, hit the body. The head's going to move, but the body's going to stay still. This is live from the locker room of Vasily Lomachenko. Vasily Lomachenko, who is the betting favorite here in Vegas. There was a tick down in the odds. There was a lot of money that was coming in on Lopez, and then some big bets came in on Lomachenko, and there is Tiafimo Lopez right now live in his locker room. His father is his trainer. He's only 23 years old. He just won a title last December in Madison Square Garden with that dynamic, I mean, unbelievably dynamic second-round knockout of Richard Comey. And instead of saying, hey, I'll do a nice little title defense against a softer touch, no. Midst of the pandemic, he wants it all. He wants Lomachenko. Test fighters that want to be great, they step up to the plate. Lopez wants to be great. Legendary status. Not just a champ. We will find out just how great he can be because he is taking on the biggest challenge in the sport. The ultra-skilled Lomachenko is the target to try to deliver all that power to the right hand of Lopez tonight. That is coming up in moments at the conclusion of this co-feature. What a good fight it has been. 176 punches landed by Barboza, 151 landed by Saucedo. Saucedo had the knockdown scored in the last round. Can somebody tell Salcedo to move his head, please? Jeez Louise. He, you know, he has no defense in the transition. He lets his hands go, and then he stands right there and takes two, three, four, five, six punches from him. Barboza, it's amazing to me. Move your head, son. Sauceda and Barboza. Speaking of Lomachenko and Lopez, there has been a little bit of a downtick with the odds. Let's show you the updated odds for the mega fight. Lomachenko took his money, was tracking north earlier today, and now the updated odds have more money coming in on Lopez late. So it goes from minus 420 to now minus 400 for Loma. The over-under in total rounds is still 10 and a half. As we've told you, those casino managers we have spoken with say the public loves Tiatimo. It's the Sharks that are lining up on Loma. There's a ticket count of 4-1 in favor of Lopez, but it's the big bets coming in on Lomachenko. And now you can see Tiafimo Lopez, who was dancing and loose earlier, locking in. This guy is always locked in. A silly Lomachenko. Ukrainian fighter who comes to California to train his last fight had all of us over in London and now coming off the longest layoff of his career he will put his belts on the line and try to conquer and take Lopez's as well. It's tough for a guy like Salcedo because he's tough, he's durable, and he's resilient, but he doesn't have a lot of different elements to his game, so when he's facing a superior boxer like this, he doesn't really have the fighting smarter in his back pocket element. He's got to fight harder if he's got to do anything to Barboza or try to slow him back. A lot better career choice to fight smarter. There's a right hand from Barboza. Quickness, movement, beautiful adjustment for Barboza. I thought he was going to fight the entire fight this way. 
He stood his ground when he had to, wore down Salcedo. Now he's using the movement to create his offense. He does have a 10 8 round in the ledger against him. Keep that in mind. Seventh round was a knockdown scored by Salcedo. Barboza Jr. is a real threat for anyone if he comes out of this fight a winner. Stop, 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 stop. Hey. He has it all. He has it all, Tristan. He does. See, Salcedo just tried to cock a punch back, and he wasn't able to hit Barboza, and he gets countered with shots like that. That hurt him. He was hurt right there. Can't telegraph punches against a faster man. Just gotta let those hands block them where they are. Mm. Tenth and final round coming up. What has been a tough battle? Sosato has eaten 160 plus power punches. You gotta come out to kill or die. Watch this elbow. So you want to be a pro fighter, do you? Oh, bueno. Oh, bueno, right there. And you can see how it affected Salcedo. You see his legs buckle to tap it. Those are the shots that you get hit with, right? Even though that was an elbow, and then you still feel it a week later. You're like, man, why is my forehead? <laughs> the side of my temples hurt so. And then you remember that, oh, I got hit with an elbow. Right. I'm talking, I'm talking. This is one of my favorites. Tenth and final round here. Oh, right hand from Barbosa. Trying to place another one in time against Salcedo. Because he's. After this, it is time to get Lomachenko and Lopez in position for the ring walk. Snapping jab with that left hand. Back to it. Barboza trying to stay perfect, trying to move his heart to 25 and 0. Give both guys credit for taking this fight. You gotta have these high opponents opposite you to take a step forward. And right from the start, they deliver. Opening round, remember Barbosa came out through 95 punches. Salcedo trying to get that right hand over the top. Barbosa in that neutral corner before he ties up. I give both fighters even more credit because this is the kind of fight that they said they were going to fight. And they kept their word. They're delivering on the promise. We don't see a lot of that in boxing. If, if, if Fights could be won or lost in our fighter meetings. <laughs> the landscape of boxing would look a whole lot different. <laughs> Opened up with a left hook right there. So Sato with an opportunity for offense. And he filled it. He now trying to wrap around with the right hand. Barboza lands a right hand of his own. Here's the other thing these two are doing, Tim. They're doing it on a big stage with a lot of mainstream sports fans. If you're going to fight in the moments before Lomachenko and Lopez, you may as well bring it. You may as well establish yourself as something. And that's exactly what Barboza Jr. is doing right now. Like I said, he's going to be a nightmare. He finished this fight. He's still got a minute, minute and ten left. He finished this fight. He wins this fight. He's going to be a problem for anybody in his division. He's showing me this tonight. Look at it, he's still bouncing around. How many punches have they thrown, Tess? Huh, it gotta be well over 800 punches. My goodness. You know one thing that Barboza has, the same thing we're gonna see from Lopez. And Loma in our main event. It's tight. Got a great, great time. We're going to have a big discussion about timing. When we analyze Lopez and Lomachenko, it's going to be all about timing. Lopez has power, but he delivers it by way of timing. Here we go. Final clap here in Vegas for two guys who have given a lot tonight. Well 
done. That was very well done between Saucedo and Barboza. Barboza has to feel good about what he did. There is Vasily. Yes, sir. A multi division champion. Won world titles, three weight classes, featherweight, junior lightweight, lightweight. And then this guy, the dynamic Tia Fimo Lopez from Brooklyn, New York. With the bombastic father trainer who you see there with the mitts on, also named Tia Fimo. His last five fights, those CompuBox superlatives we keep coming back to. The power punches, landing over 50% of his power punches. An average top lightweight lands 35%. Everybody who has analyzed this fight, everybody who has put forth a prediction says Lopez has to bring the power. It's the only way against Loma. All right, Andre, let's look at your scorecard. Remember, because of Nevada and the replay, that seventh round becomes a 10-8 round the knockdown score, but Barboza with the consistent work rate, with the volume of punches, with the commitment to step to Saucedo and make it that kind of a fight ahead on your scorecard. Remember, a critical fight here at 140 pounds. Let's find out how the judges see it, and then we got Loma and Loma, Lomachenko and Lopez. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside MGM Grand, after 10 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Dave Moretti has the bout 96-93. Max DeLuca and Patricia Morse Jarman both score the bout 97-92. All in favor for your winner by unanimous decision. And now, the WBO Junior Welterweight International Champion. Arnold Barbosa Jr. Arnold Barbosa is now 25 and 0. He outlanded Saucedo 218 punches to 183, and of those 218, 188 were power shots. And that big right hand in the fourth round, he fought the fight he said he would. Your final thought on the night from Barbosa? Very entertaining fight. You know, he put it all out there for us to see. You know, um, I felt I felt it. You know, I felt his passion 